really blocking easy magnetism. Easy magnetism. And that is to what you want in your business, in your life, because in fully embodied expression, and that's every single facet of yourself, right? There is magnetism. And your next experience of life, you know, whatever you're seeking, whether it's more money, more influence, a better relationship, like it's at a totally different frequency to your frequency right now. And that means that it's coming from you. So your frequency has to change more than the business strategy that you're using. So where you are experiencing doubt about yourself or, you know, needing permission to be all of yourself, that's coming from, from fear. And a fear is a low vibration, which is just gonna get matched, right? And the same goes if you are bending yourself, bending yourself, changing yourself, even like putting out, you know how, how, how a peacock fluffs their feathers, fluffs their feathers and, and tries to, to be this peacock version of yourself, right? This fluffed up, uh, yeah, difference to just the peacock without the feathers up version. Again, it's like a lack of self-acceptance, a lack of self-love, whereas truth, and that is vulnerable truth. You with your, your, your shadows and your light, but confidently expressed, you know, embodied as all of you wholeness, that just creates magnetism of the highest vibration to the highest vibration experience of life. Allowing your true power requires unconditional love and trust, enough trust to allow yourself to be open to getting hurt. And that's the truth, right? Unconditional love is so fucking deep that it shakes up, has to shake up every single belief that you have. But the more that you can be aware that you have some of the beliefs that you do have that are limiting you, admit that they are limiting you and let the spontaneous integration from separation into unity happen by itself this triangle of masculine, feminine, unity to come together, integrate head and heart into one and live through your heart, the faster you're gonna live in the abundance that is divinely meant for you. And that's where the real strength is. The real strength is in allowing. So the question is like, where are you? Uh, and you can, you can know the answer by looking at your experience by looking at your abundance, by looking at your bank balance, by looking at your relationships. Wherever there is lack, as you see it, it it's coming from lack within. So how, how do we then change this so that the attraction of money, the attraction of clients, the attraction of experiences, the attraction of opportunities is easy? And it comes down to asking yourself honestly, like deeply honestly, what those parts of yourself are that you're denying and where you are expressing what isn't really your truth. Because the thing that I, I know, and I know it from personal experience, is that the door to divinity is through here. It's through your heart space. I have been journeying with teacher plants since October 2022 and the one that I'm working with at the moment is profound. I had this beautiful journey of visiting what's the, the name of the teacher plant actually which is the broken heart tree and I saw on this broken heart tree the, the heart of or there was a heart with a picture of my mum's face on it. And I had this realization how loving myself, I'd really given away to her from a purely instinctive basis, right? My mum, everyone's mum is the, the first avenue for nourishment, the breast, love, care, 
taking care. My experience with my mum really meant that, you know, when that wasn't necessarily given in the way that I needed it from a, from a primal level, I never took that responsibility back within myself. And so at this beautiful broken heart tree, I, I took this heart with my mum's face and I felt it meld back into my heart. And then I saw on the other side of the tree, my dad's face on a heart. And I had this profound realization that, you know, I'd given my permission to be all of me to him. And I'd not got that permission. You know, again, my relationship with him was very much that he disliked who I was growing up. He would call me difficult. He would call me lots of names that I don't really want to mention in a live video, but I never took that permission back, right? So with this broken heart tree, I took that heart and I felt it meld with my heart. And I felt this wholeness, you know, this self-acceptance, this self-love, this commitment to love myself, to take this journey to becoming whole, to accept all of my light and my shadow, and to never give that permission outside of myself again. And what I realized looking back at the tree that there was, you know, a gazillion billion hearts on this tree, broken hearts on this tree where all of us in some way have given these these roles outside of ourselves and left them there, you know, not taken that permission to be, do, become all of who we are back within, not taken the role of loving ourselves deeply, unconditionally within. But this fully embodied magnetic expression, it requires that. And what it requires most is the surrender piece. And, and that's the divine feminine part of you whether you're a man whether you're a woman you know that's the divine feminine surrender to be in your truth with unconditional love and because we're not embracing this energy within ourselves we're actually blocking divine creation because we are in co-creation with the universe all of the time we are part of a larger pattern we are part of this web that we're weaving through our creativity, through our expression, through our energy, the reality of what we want and our impact on humanity. Like what if it just simply requires us to be ourselves and in the highest frequency, as simple as that and yet so difficult? My journey to wholeness has had to be through seeing where this unawakened masculine within myself has created the reality I had, the reality I suffered, the reality I um, maintained by not having the awareness of where I was creating it myself and, and putting up with it and not surrendering to be in my truth. You know, it, it manifested unhealthy relationships, it manifested unhealthy ways of being in my business, pushing, forcing, you know, trying to control, and ultimately it created lack. And that has been a huge part of my journey to abundance has been really um, swapping the pushing, forcing, manipulating, for surrendering to this beautiful creative wave of chaos that just allows me or invites me to be in dynamic receptivity with the, with the universe. <laughs> living my life and being in divine flow, unleashing my deepest creative authenticity and having that be my vehicle to making money without feeling like I'm pushing for money all the time. And it's giving me this beautiful, authentic experience of life, which obviously in the last few months has gone very deep on a personal level, mastering this uh, divine flow in my business but seeing how I have to, I have to own those principles, live through, through those principles in my personal life as well. If I want to have a fully embodied experience personally, when I jumped out of a plane last week, I jumped because I lost faith in myself that I could do that. I lost faith in 
my partnership with spirit. I lost faith in my strength and I was in a really dark place when I jumped. I've definitely lifted out of that place somewhat now, but it's been, um, it's been challenging. I keep coming back to what I felt as I was literally plummeting to the ground after saying in the plane, you know, like if that parachute doesn't open, then I trust that I'm not meant to be here. But if it does, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make this, I'm, I'm going to fucking step with two feet into life. And as I jumped and as I surrendered to every single fear I have of being in that creative wave of chaos in my life, you know, trusting the unknowable, I felt this incredible oneness. I felt like it was almost like this experience of remembering how we're plugged into a mainframe. <laughs> and that mainframe is the universe, it's, it's the energy of the universe. And like I say, part of this larger pattern that we're giving to and receiving from in every moment. But again, it comes back to the door to that divinity being through complete surrender to the unknowable, complete intention to live through our hearts without fear, which means that divinity is the sacred union of these energies that we hold within completely naturally. It's the unawakened male surrendering to love every single aspect of themselves. It's the unawakened female giving herself permission to be in all of her epic power. But we're not doing that as men and women, you know, and it's coming from lifetimes of collective trauma, collective ancient fucking trauma, the roles that we've been given as men and women, how our sacred sexuality has been shamed and the power of our sexual energy for creation and manifestation has been hidden and replaced with sexual control. How there's been this lean towards extreme power stopping us from trusting our personal power, taking personal responsibility for how incredibly fucking powerful we are and all that is possible simply by trusting in the innate intelligence of our body. And, you know, in another journey with teacher plants, I, I felt this face off. Um, actually, no, it wasn't in a journey. It was in a, an experience with somebody else, looking into the eyes of somebody who I love deeply and feeling his ancient trauma, you know, his face off as you were with a woman and you know, the two being equally powerful in these beautiful, divinely opposite ways, but, you know, him not feeling safe if he can't have dominance, and her ultimately looking for his permission to be fully in her power, fully in her fire, and this is the fire of the feminine, right, to, to create, you know, when these sacred energies come into sacred union, you're creating an ecstatic fulfillment of your true being. Uh, you know, a, 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 the highest of frequency experience of, of life through divine grace. So I guess what we have instead is both sides expressing from a primal need for safety and security, and that is creating completely the opposite. You know, a, a low, frequency experience of life that is just calling in more low ex low frequency experience of life. So, you know, if you suffered through the full moon that we just had, yes, it could be, could be your astrology, you know, some of the signs were experiencing more illumination, but really what it was, was this opposition, you know, the fire of Leo opposing Pluto, which is the Lord of the underworld, your underworld, your shadows calling them to be illuminated so that you can become more of who you are 
um, fire versus shadow effectively and then we were conjunct the sun which is that unconditionally giving life force that is you know putting abundance on the table every single day that we're not we're not taking because of our fears and then throw Uranus in the freaking mix as well which is the planet of rapid awakening and you know you got you're going to have you're going to have a hard time <laughs> I had an extremely hard time through that full moon, but the illumination has been beautiful and I'm taking action on that illumination now and realizing that allowing my true power requires unconditional love and trust. My real strength this week has been allowing from this illumination to, to be where I am and, and experience what I'm feeling and let go of what I have to let go of. You know, we think that it's that divine masculine, the muscles, right? The, the push, the force, the, the fight on, fight through, but it's not. The sacred union of these inner beautiful energies, the divine masculine, the divine feminine, and their, their power in their unique right is the only way to allow that second source of magical power or magical energy, which is pleasure. You know the ecstatic fulfillment of your being this high experience this high frequency experience of life that is available to you that will just create more high frequency experience of life but it requires you to like I say relax and allow your heart to be wide open the more wide open your heart is the more your divine truth can come through for expression and your creativity is the vessel it is the vessel for that divine truth. When your heart and mind sinks, your energy comes into coherence and you do experience that oneness that I did falling 200, and 200 whatever kilometers from the sky, 200 kilometers an hour from the sky. And in that place of presence, only only good can come through right only truth can come through so when you have this true deep self realization like this this is when your new ways of old patterns can come into the full surrender to your true possibility and you get to live into an expanded version of yourself without needing permission the question that I want to end on is how do you do that how do you become fully integrated as part of your business strategy so that money experiences influence impact grows as you do i have the answer i'm willing to share it with you and i'm opening my calendar for calls calls to to talk about something really exciting actually something that has birthed from what i've been through which is a brand new program i'm calling divine flow and something I'm really excited about this program is that I'm not going to commit you to three months, six months, nine months, 12 months. This is a, this is a, a monthly rolling opportunity to, to come into my world and experience what I do really powerfully so that you can be in divine flow as well. You can, you know, catapult your income, create passive income, expand your, your experience of life easily through your own magnetism, through your body's own innate intelligence to, to do what it, it does. And from there, attract what you want, okay? So I would love, I would love to talk to you about this. I'm gonna put my call booking link in the comments below and I want you to just click the bloody button if any of this resonates and you're ready to take your creative authenticity, your experience of life, your money, everything to the next level and remember, you know, the freedom that you seek, you already have, you already have that freedom, but you've got to live through your heart space and not live in the fears that you have. So click that button, book that call and yeah, enjoy the rest of your day, evening, wherever you are in the world.